Uh, so let's look at the code for what we just did. So the, the function we're going to do is called parse tree. We're going to use stacks and trees. We have to import that from the Python's module that comes from the author. Uh, later we're going to use operator, so we'll talk about that later. So first we split the tree, so that's going to split on spaces. Or it's going to split all the character tokens into a list. So that's our list. We're going to use a stack to keep track of going back up uh, what the parent is when we go down, so we can go back up to the parent. So we create an empty stack. We create an empty tree, so that creates the first node. It's not set to any value yet, just an empty string. Uh, we push the top node, so that's marking the top of our stack. Uh, we set the current node to uh, to the node the imp the node of the top of the tree, and then for each token for i in the uh, list of tokens, if i is equal to left parentheses, then we insert a left child. We push where we were into the stack because we're about to descend down to it, and then we set the current tree to the left child of where we were, so we're moving down. So after the parentheses, if the uh, what we're looking at is not an operator, it must be a number, which is an operand. So it converts that number to an integer, sets the root value of the current node, it gets the parent off the stack, which is the going to be the parent of the, the child node I'm in, and then it sets the current tree to that. If the uh, if it's an operator, it's going to set the uh, root value to the operator. It's going to insert a right child and not set what it is yet. And then it's going to push my current node before I descend down. And then it's going to set the right child to be the current node. If I see a, a right parentheses, we're going to pop the stack to go up the tree. And so the current node will go up a level. And that's it. It loops for all the tokens, and when it's done, it will have built the tree. Now, to evaluate it, recall that uh, when you look at the subtrees, you evaluate this subtree, and you can replace this node with the result. And you can replace, you can then evaluate this right subtree and put the the result in this node. And you, then you have a smaller tree, and then you evaluate this tree, and eventually you get one result, which is the final result of the evaluation. So we can do this in a recursive definition. So our base case, when we're looking at a, a subtree where both the children are leaves, in other words, they're both numbers, then we can just evaluate it. If they aren't leaf nodes, then we have to recurse down into those subtrees to find our base case. So we're going to see how this works. Now some other things we have to talk about. We're going to use what's called the operator module. Uh, we're going to do some what's called functional programming, and in functional programming, you can cr you can choose a f you can work with a function as if it was a variable, and pass it around as arguments, and then eventually you can call it, and that's what we're going to do. So you'll note that uh, uh, we're going to use uh, add, sub for subtract, mul for multiply, and true divide for divide. So these are built-in operators where we actually have function names instead of the asterisk, slash, and so on. And because functions can be stored in variables, we're going to make a list, where, uh, actually a dictionary, where the key for the dictionary is the operator, and the value of the list is the, the actual function that would do that operation. And we'll see when we look at code how that works. So let's go ahead and look at the code for evaluation. OK, here we are in the code. Uh, now we're looking at this evaluate function. This is the recursive function that will evaluate a full tree. Uh, so you, you originally pass it a full tree, but it's recursive because it's going to call itself uh, down here on left and right subtrees when appropriate. So the first thing it does, it sets up a dictionary that maps the uh, strings for the op operators, uh, plus, minus, multiply, and divide, to the operand methods that we're going to call. And so these are stored as data for these keys. And we'll see how that works later. And so when it comes in here, we have either a tree or a subtree. And uh, we get the left and right child of it. If the left and right child 
um, exist, they both exist, that means we're on an operator and we have two leaves. So I'll, I'll change this comment to reflect that. And if it has two leaves, what we do is we get the uh, function that represents the operator and then we evaluate that function. So fn is actually a piece of data that's pointing to a method which is going to be add, subtract, multiply, or true divide. And so fn now represents that. And then we call fn, so we're going to be calling one of those methods. And then we're going to call ourselves here to evaluate the left and the right subtree. So those, the results of those subtrees will be passed to the add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And then that's returned from this uh, to return the result back up the tree. Now if this fails, that means that it had no children. Both of these were none. And that gets to the else here. So this is the case we're at a leaf node. And so all we do is return the value of the leaf node. So that's the base case. And that's it. That's the entire uh, procedure.